The top local story at 5.30, getting to know the interim police chief of the capital city. Chief Hugh Clements took over the department last week after Colonel Dean Esserman stepped down amidst controversy. And tonight he tells us how he will work to boost morale and improve the Providence Police Department. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler has more details now from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. This is the acting chief's first full week on the job, and despite tough times at the department lately, he tells me he's ready to hit the ground running. There's a new man in charge at the Providence Police Department. Deputy Chief Hugh Clements took over the post Thursday after 26 years on the force. And most initiatives and partnerships and collaborations started by Colonel Esselman will continue. It's the right way to police this city. It's the right way to police all the cities in America, and uh, it's worked. Clements replaces Colonel Dean Esserman, who suddenly resigned following an underage drinking party at his east side home. Clements says he'll focus on improving morale. The uh, tumultuous past month with the contract negotiations, it was a very trying time for the whole department. It really was. It was uh, there was a lot of anxiety, a lot of tension. After tense negotiations, the Providence Fraternal Order of Police came to a contract agreement with the city last month to avoid the layoffs of 78 officers. But with upcoming retirements and a shrinking budget, Clement says his top priority is restructuring the department. The early part of the summer, things are going to remain the same. There won't be a lot of changes. Later in the summer, we will probably roll out some type of reorganization, which will include trimming the districts, uh, trimming some of the smaller units, because we have to. Acting Chief Clements tells me he plans to apply for the permanent position. At this point, the city has yet to say when they plan to make that decision. In Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.